I'd like to thank uh, the organizers, uh, Sarah and Luis from UN University, Martin and Arvo, thank you. Uh, we have a short video that condenses the story of uh, Cape Verde. If you please, can you uh, show us? Nausea. More than 600 public institutions and 12,000 civil servants connected in a single state network. More than 80 applications developed for the health sector, education, business environment, justice, public administration, local administration, and many more, bring in significant improvement in the provision of public services in Cape Verde. Nazi is today a reference for electronic governance in Africa. This journey started in 1998 with the State Administrative and Financial Reform Programme, RAFE, which gave rise to NAUSI in 2003 and became a public company in 2014. In all its growth process, NAUSI has always focused on innovation, having created IGRP, a proprietary platform for the development and placement of e-governance application. CGOV, as an instrument of excellence in the budgetary and financial management of the government. SIM, covering all areas of local administration. RNI, with the digitalization of the entire archive of the identification record of the citizens of the last hundred years, feeding the entire state database. Citizens House, in 2007, as a showcase for many electronic governance solutions developed by NAUSI, electronic payments, applications for digital certificates, electronic passports, business in a day, and many other services. SIGE, to manage schools and academy, allowing a faster interaction between teachers, parents, and students. Connecta, with 112 digital square of free internet access and mobile e-government applications. SIS, to manage hospitals and health centers, improve patient care, save time, promote telemedicine. SI elections, giving more transparency, security, celerity, and credibility to the Cape Verdean electoral process, allowing communication and dissemination of electoral results online and in real time. A data center with seven levels of security, high technology, state-of-the-art equipment, a reference in data storage designed to meet the requirements of the market and provide service to national and international public and private entities in the domain of housing and hosting. NOSI works for the digital transformation of the Cape Verdean society. Results translate into numbers. 19 years of experience in e-government, about 12,000 users of the state network, more than 80 e-government solutions created, more than 160 customers, more than 150 websites developed, 32 video conferencing rooms installed in various parts of the country, nine islands interconnected and connected with the world. Six major areas of expertise, application development, consulting, training, data center, platforms, and telecommunications. Talking about NAUSI's journey and performance is talking about people. The institution has more than 170 team players in permanent process of development, new solutions, in a technological and motivating environment, in constant learning, dialogue, debate of ideas, training and qualification always flourishing. NAUSI participates in the internship program of professional excellence, promoting competitiveness and equal opportunities in the IT sector. Team players have in their DNA the mission and values of NAUSI. This is the NAUSI story. Trabalhar no NAUSI é espetacular, por ter um ambiente informal. Uh, sentimos aqui sempre preparados para dar resposta a todos os desafios lançados e que não são poucos. Trabalhar no NOS é uma aventura. 
é, acordar logo pela manhã e tentar adivinhar qual vai ser o desafio do dia. Aqui o ambiente de trabalho é colaborativo, pessoas dinâmicas que partilham ideias, conhecimentos, informação. Trabalhamos em equipa, focado nos resultados. Today, NOSI's know-how is recognized across borders. NOSI currently operates in five countries, and five countries are with NOSI. With technological partner of international recognition, Cape Verde is number one in the ECOWAS Index of Electronic Governance and the fourth in the African continent. NOSI is a proud recipient of the African Innovation Award granted in 2012. NOSI is motivated to do more, to do better, and continue to be a reliable partner and engine of transformation of a digital society in Africa. A visão do NOSI é neste momento se transformar num motor confiável para uma sociedade digital. Nós, ao longo dos últimos 20 anos, nós temos acumulado experiência suficiente na governação eletrónica, na qual temos como grande objetivo partilhar esta experiência com os países da nossa sub-região e, por que não, de todo o continente africano. NOSI, Building the Digital Future for Africa. Uh, thank you. There was, a, there was the NOSI experience in Cape Verde. We started about 20 years ago. We set it up, there's Cape Verde, uh, just uh, west of Senegal. 10 islands, uh, surface 10% uh, of Estonia, probably population 500,000. We have more population in the diaspora than in uh, Cape Verde. <laughs> and our neighbors in Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea, closest neighbors. We started uh, 20 years ago. We felt the need to, to do it. And uh, how we did it, we established three uh, components uh, at the highest decision level of the government. Uh, a reform unit, uh, legal and administrative reform, which had IT analysts. <coughs> okay. The objective was to simplify, and the goal was to be citizen-centric. We established a technological unit, uh, basically to take care of connectivity, of uh, data, data, data center, platforms, and software. And we established a change management unit to deploy, train, and support. So these three units work together to uh, implement the changes, right? Uh, now we have, we have uh, uh, more challenges that um, I will bring only two because of the time, the NOSI code and the open data initiatives. Uh, the NOSI code.cv, we have a major integrator. It's somehow like uh, Xcode. Uh, that integrates our data. And it supports, it's a IGRP, it supports, it's a framework which supports applications for e-government, but it also has a visual studio for development of e-gov solutions. It has built in the safety, the single sign-on, the, the search, everything you need uh, in a multitude of development e-government solutions. And we just put it on a GitHub platform. It's open to everybody who needs to collaborate. We offer this uh, through anybody can go to nosycode.cv, see the code, code source, and start uh, collaborating on the, our main engine, technological engine, and adapt it to your reform needs. You have to work with this and 
your reform unit. It has to go in parallel. And your management, change management also. They have to work together. Reform, technological, and change management. So you have to go this way. And you have to do small things at a time. Okay? And uh, there are some fundament fun fundamental things that will support everything that you have, like your historic data. You, you have to take care of uh, introducing it to a database. The identification and all the basics have to be done. Somehow they have to be done first. Uh, this uh, nozico.cv, it's an online software development. IGRP is Integrated Government Resource Planning. And you adapt it to your needs. It's an open source. We put it on a web portal, nozico.cv. We use GitHub for collaboration and versioning uh, control. Uh, the collaboration flux, you, have a, you contribute, you experiment. First you get the knowledge and you experiment, you contribute, and then there is a, a, a merger, merger management that will accept your contributions. <clears throat> Basically, that's, uh, the, other, the, other, the other initiative is open data. It's not a, a, a true, like, by definition, open data. Because the model we work on is easy. We have the clients, that's citizens. They are, after, they are offered a lot of uh, e-government solutions uh, through cloud. The platform that offers them is IGRP. And then you have NOS is just a data custodian. And we felt that in these 20 years, there's a lot of data. Any government can be made also collaborative. If the government puts that data available, we believe that many people will develop small apps. E-government can be done through small apps. You don't have to have big and huge platforms to handle everything. Once the data is available. So now we are trying to do the following. We are trying to establish uh, like this raw data now to the society. Open. So we have to provide the data and through a transaction protocol, or open data protocol, we can exchange data and build something beautiful from there. That's all we had to present at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely, there are some questions as well, I guess. Yes, please. No questions. No questions, <laughs> really. Oh, there is one question, please. Roger Adam from African Development, Development Bank. I don't understand very well your drivers and your business model. Why you decide to do it really uh, 20 years ago? Well, we had one case that uh, 20 years ago, the government hired a, cons a consulting firm to develop uh, 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 a database for, uh, for uh, uh, contributors, uh, tax, tax, uh, tax contributors. And uh, in the meantime, there were some problems with the contract, and the consulting firm just took the database and uh, uh, they were taking it out of the country. And then the, the, the government didn't let that happen. And actually, the need arise, arose at the time that the, some data you just have to, to, to develop in your own and safeguard it. That was the start in 1998. Okay. And as uh, there are many countries already taking over your solution, you definitely can uh, say some encouraging words about the cybersecurity of the solution. Uh, well, uh, we don't consider ourselves uh, best practices, just a case study. Uh, actually, we defended quite well from the last, last uh, attack, and, uh, which proves that we, we have in our system about 50,000 uh, intrusion uh, per day, intrusion uh, attempts. And uh, we have uh, sufficient knowledge to prevent that from happening. Very good to hear. Any more questions? No? Thank you. Thank you. And here is a small expression of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you.